Hey guys, I want to do a quick review of the uh, GoVision Ultra HD video recording glasses and with a built-in 16 megapixel camel, camera. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, quite often 8, 10 megapixels is all I've seen even from a, uh, this is basically a 1080 camera. So uh, uh, I have been happily surprised by this. Uh, if you've watched my uh, channel for a while, uh, you might have seen that I've, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of camera glasses. Basically because I, I hate setting up shots. And nine times out of ten, the things I'm doing are close-up shots. I'm either doing something or showing something that I'm interacting with. So I've always been a big fan of camera glasses. Uh, they're all sunglasses, but that's about the best you're going to do. I'm never going to buy camera glasses with lenses that I have prescriptions on because I'm never sure of the reliability. Uh, this one I was happily surprised with because it had a form factor I usually consider as being a cheap form factor. It has two buttons here. It has a button for the video uh, with the uh, two parallel lines and a dot. And then it has the shape of a camera, which is a photo function. I have never really liked that configuration because I always assumed that that through probably no fault of this company or anybody else's. For some reason it always struck me as not the kind of configuration you wanted. I'm usually a single button kind of guy, video only, but uh, I have been happily uh, surprised by these. In fact, uh, Two or three, I think most of the videos I've done prior to this, the last two or three, have been with these glasses. Some are with an earlier version of GoVision. You might see a slight degradation in the look of it, but the clearer one you will always know is this pair, and 90% of the time I use this pair. They are almost identical to the previous iteration, so that was a little bit confusing to me, so I have to had to figure out a way to separate the two and I've probably figured out a way. But this has been very good for me. I've uh, been doing a lot of, uh, God only knows how this happened, uh, car vehicle videos, interior exterior work, and uh, these have been very good at showing it at a nice, uh, I guess megapixel would be definition. Uh, so, uh, I have had no problems with them at all. They are the classical uh, uh, sunglasses like the old Ray-Bans. So, they're not in any way a stealth type of thing unless you are in the middle of a bright sunshiny day and somebody doesn't know the Cyclops, doesn't notice the Cyclops eye in the middle. So, I really don't consider it a spy camera and I don't use it as such. But it has been a very good do-it-yourself type of view. I have to remember to keep my head still in some of the videos you might see that I'm, I'm sort of scanning side to side. You have to remember when you are wearing camera glasses that you need to treat your head like a tripod. Focus on one thing and then move slowly and focus on another. And use your head or if you're going to use your eyeballs to move just understand you're only going to be videoing what's directly in front of you. But that's classical the way you handle those type of uh, those shots. Another reason I didn't like the Go Vision is uh, they are they have a cheap look. Now I don't say it's a cheap look uh, from my perspective, but it it looks shiny. And I always think of textured plastic as more as more stable, as more durable than shiny plastic. But I have found these to be very good. The earlier iteration I've had with these has outlived several of my other cameras. In fact, the camera I really, really like is not has been has given me some issues with reliability. And that's Pivot Head. I love Pivot Head, but I've got a I've got a new one in there. It just suddenly began to overheat, and then all of a sudden now I have no audio. Not bad mouthing it, but my my luck has not been good with those. And those have great perspective because with camera glasses, not only do you want to see what you focus on, but you need a wide enough view so you can have a true perspective. A lot of the camera glasses I'd like otherwise have a very narrow view, so it's hard to bring up anything into uh, into the area where you where your eyes are without really concentrating on putting it up almost at your eyebrows or above to see a particular thing. I like the perspective on these. I like the quality on these, and so far uh, the durability is good. The durability on the previous version has been good. 
this one is doing good and uh, it has uh, it has had exemplary uh, video so just check a couple of three of my previous videos I'll put a link to one of them here uh, one of them that I did a uh, hundred percent with these and you will uh, you'll make your own mind up in case that's all I've got now and I will see you later